Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and welcome back to North Dakota, the 16x ginormous map. We are back here, and we're still harvesting. And the only reason why is because Fury's been busy. I gotta have a huge, huge, huge shout out to Craden Gaming. Him and I started a multiplayer server, and... When you get a chance, go over to Creighton Gaming on YouTube and check out his video because he did a time lapse. You'll see that I was helping him in the middle of the, uh, where we downloaded a forestry map that has over 57,000 trees on it. And him and I are determined we're going to cut it all down and we're going to make that thing a go. We each started with our own farm with, with $500,000 each. Uh, I sold the beginning equipment and split it up. And we started on separate, and then about halfway through, he said, I need some help because these trees are crazy dense. I mean, they're nuts, absolutely nuts. Uh, I will be recording a video on that tomorrow, but I also wanted to let Creighton know personally, since we couldn't talk in-game, first of all, I will work tomorrow very hard on getting us a Discord so that we can talk. It'll be a little bit easier than typing, not to mention... Uh, we'll be able to say hello to each other in the videos. I'm going to record my video for that uh, map tomorrow. But also keep in mind that um, it's going to be every two or three days because I've got this map. I've got No Man's Land. I've got American Truck Simulator and now that map. So it's probably going to be only once a week that I'm going to record that. Uh, I'd like to spend a lot more time on this map because it's so big. Uh, I really want to get you the download link to this map because it is huge. Uh, to let everybody know, we also started that uh, Let's Play multiplayer with Vanilla. The only thing we put in was power tools uh, so that we could have uh, the super strength because when you're doing logging, you almost, almost need it. So you can load some logs, especially when you just start with nothing. It's kind of hard. I don't like doing a lot of logging. I mean, logging is my favorite, but I like it with the brooks where you just go up and go... All right, so we're going to get our trivia out of the way first and foremost. I asked you guys yesterday how many stomachs does a cow have, and there are so many people. I want to give shout-outs to Steven and Creighton Gaming and Russell and Grizzly Bear Sims, and there's a whole bunch of people that answered it correctly. Dun-dun-dun, the correct answer is a one. They have four chambers in their stomach, unlike a human being. We only have one, and we digest our food all at once. They have four, because they eat a variety of different food, and they digest it quite a bit differently. Yay! But I want, if I forgot your name, if you mentioned, if you answered it correctly, I will make sure I get you tomorrow. So welcome, welcome, welcome back to North, Car North Carolina. North Dakota, let's get busy doing some stuff. Okay, so... I downloaded a new sim dashboard uh, screen. So I'm going to see if it works. All right. So where's the cruise control? There it is. It's working. It's working. All right. Uh, Farm sim guy put in a new screen for sim dashboard. It is the Fent actual uh, GPS or the fence screen that you would find in the actual tractor so it's super realistic but so unfortunately fury is pretty much where i left off last time so i apologize for that i downloaded some uh, really cool mods for this let's play i downloaded a fermenting silo uh oh <laughs> Uh, a fermenting silo that lets me ferment hay, straw, and grass. Of course, it's been edited by me. We will do that, of course. And away we go. So, yeah, I had so much fun tonight. We played for about two and a half hours. Almost, it was closer to four. Well, it was closer to three. Sorry, I'll get my words I merged with the wick stuff. Uh, it got to the point I, I bought two little fields to start uh, because I don't I I love forestry maps. It's it's one of my all-time favorite. 
it's like no man's land extreme you uh you literally have to you start with nothing uh and a truck and a tractor or a truck and a chainsaw that's all we both started with so and a half a million dollars so i went out and i bought there's it's all forestry there's over fifty-seven thousand trees on this map uh, when I record for tomorrow, I will get a, uh, I'll put a link in the description, uh, and we'll go from there. I hope you guys like it. But we started out, and we did really well until we realized, like, uh, because I was dreading the logging by hand. So he asked me, he's like, well, can my, can we put the, the PowerPoints in and and uh at least we have super strength so we're not sitting here for 10 years trying to look, do little tiny pieces and all that stuff and i said sure why don't we just do that and he went ahead and he said i'm gonna go ahead and start recording and i said good good go ahead yep i'll wait because the person who's hosting the server is the one that controls everything controls the money controls uh everything and when i first went on like uh, I didn't know what the heck was going on. Like I'd never done, I'd never set, I've played on multiplayers, but I've never set it up. So I'm like, okay, how do I add the farm? How do I do all this stuff? And then I looked down and my real name is on the screen. I'm like, huh, what, what? So I asked Creighton, I was like, how do you get your real name off the screen? I don't want, like, I don't care, um, you know, that people know it. It's just the fact that that's just, the, it's, it was just funny. So. I was like, first of all, I didn't set Farm Sim 22 up with my real name. I don't know how the heck that happened. But either way, we figured it out, or he figured it out, shall we say. And we got going, and I bought two little fields, and I got them harvested. There was about, uh, probably about 15,000 liters. I mean, it was, they were tiny, tiny, tiny fields. Not like this one that's got 14,000 in a row. Um these were like 15,000 total for two little fields and I'm starting in my head to make a plan of what I was going to do and what I'm going to uh, set up and then he, he messaged on the screen he's like uh, do you mind helping me while I record because this is crazy so we ended up buying a, a tree harvester then we started going nuts and I don't know if you guys knew it or not but if you take that the in-game uh, with the chipper that hooks to the back of a tractor, you can roll over those the trees and it'll eat it right up. I mean, I didn't know that. I'm, so I'm taking those stupid little uh, knotty poplar trees, what I call it. Um, now, let me see where pipe out is. There we go. All right. And uh, I was just so sick. I was just rolling over them. And then we had, we got one that gave us some hassle. And we were like, oh, what the heck's going on? But all of these trees, I'm going to take that Trex in-game, and I'm just going to get rid of them. If we decide to have any trees on this map, it's going to be uh, regular trees, spruce trees. But I had a lot of fun. It'll be much better when I get a Discord, and we can talk, and we can actually talk amongst ourselves and uh i want to start setting up in the next i'd say couple two three weeks here uh a live stream where i can go on and play for a couple hours um but as i explained to him i explained to you guys as well i don't need this on okay so i'm 100 percent what's left in this okay i gotta come back uh as i explained to him i i have to wait to record until my wife goes to bed because like i explained to you guys we share a computer and it's in my dining room um, and it's just easier that way. So, and plus it's compromised. You know, that's what you do. Go a little wide here. So I can't just come on and stream at 8 o'clock at night like I like I want. I know he want, he really wanted to start recording at like 8 or 9. Because um, his parents would get mad. And I was like, I understand that. But I have a certain time limit too, so... Look, it's like truck sim. You gotta back up, to hit the parking spot. Man, I'm, I've been I've been playing so much truck sim lately. Oh, well, this should be a push one. Sweet. Look at that. There's not any animation animation on the ground, is there? I like these push ones. And this foot fit. 
three and three quarters of a load. Three and three quarters full harvester. I also had someone bring up a great point uh, about chaff and grass. Okay. The person brought up, I think it was Steven, I think. My brain isn't what it used to be. Uh, grass is not technically chaff. You don't get chaff from grass. And you don't get chaff from corn. Okay, you get corn silage. So I wanted to correct myself on that one. Uh, but as I explained to him that what happened is growing up, uh, Dad just called everything chaff. And in game, they do the same thing. So it kind of matched. So me rambling on, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to chaff this. Now, if you use a forage harvester, you get chaff according to in-game. But the proper terminology, I wanted to make sure that I gave him the heads up. You can see where I rolled over my crop. Uh, this is corn silage. This is grass silage. You can get chaff from grass, but you have to wait for it to do flower. It has to flower, and then you chaff it, and then you chop it up, and it, ch it chaffs it. But when it's like this, it would just be grass silage. So those two things I wanted to clear up for him and make sure that, because you can't call yourself a realistic farming channel if you're using the wrong terminology. But we just called everything chaff as well. So it's so, like, when we would mow grass and put it in a silage bunker, we would call it chaff. Because, I mean, it's just that's what we did. So... But that's all. I just wanted to make sure we cleared that up and got the air and got it correct and everything's good. But yeah, I'm going to be recording. I have now four Let's Plays to do that I've got to... I, I, like I said yesterday, I have. it's been forever since I've done a truck sim video. Uh, I'm still stuck on level six and I've been playing. But what I've been doing is modding. Monkeying with tractors. Or not tractors, um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Does this work? Okay. So that sets us up with that. Uh, where's the lower implement? They're all pictures. Okay, that starts it. Uh, that lowers it. That turns it on. All right. And then I hit that for my cruise control. All right, it's there. I got it figured out. Now I know which buttons that is. That's pretty cool, too. I can also switch to this one, which is, yeah, it's written out. I have two, I have like five, six screens now. It's crazy. I become addicted to this. Uh, I'm almost at a half a tank of fuel, too. I just looked over on my sim dashboard, and it's about one line below three, below, above half. But yeah, I wanted to clear those terminologies up and everything. Uh, that way everybody's doing on the same page and we're doing everything we need to. Oh, I got to ask today's trivia. Okay. Almost forgot. I just, I, my brain got thinking, this is the second, um... One second. Uh, lower. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is the second harvest I've done today, and my brain is just like, oh. I mean, second wheat harvest. One on a tiny field, and this one, and you look at it, and you're like, I don't want to see wheat no more. <laughs> but after talking with uh, Triple D Honey also, I've decided that it's better on a map like this to play a little bit off camera. And come back where I'm ahead so as easy as it would be to play and have you guys see a half hour at a time it would get monotonous to see you know 50 episodes of me harvesting and after a while it's like I'm not gonna watch this video so I gotta be smart about it I gotta get this harvest done and I gotta move on to the straw I've also decided that I'm not bailing the straw I'm gonna pick it up with a forage wagon we're gonna dump 
uh, and in this big silo over there. So we have all the straw. When we get to 16 million liters, then we're going to start selling it. We're going to maintain 16 million liters in the silo over there. All right, so today's trivia. Ready? What was the original Case IH company name? I'll bet you, because see, here's the thing is I had to start, I have to start stumping you guys because I've been asking questions and you guys, I know you're not looking it up because of the answers, but I have to start making you guys really think because you guys are all answering it. And, and as a trivia host, it's like, ah, I got to start, I got to start winning. It's like playing with house money. <laughs> all right. So the question is, what was the original Case IH company name? Remember, they bought out a company uh, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So that's your question. Ready and go. I do, 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 and go. That's your final answer. <laughs> that stupid little song. I'm cooking my dinner tonight and I'm <laughs> singing that song. <laughs> oh, it's funny, funny, funny. Funny, funny, funny. Yeah, I'm hoping to spend a couple, two, three hours tomorrow getting this harvested. I got to find time to make a no man's land. A no man's land we're working on. Uh, I just got done tedding. So I got a windrow the next field over, and I've got to then start bailing it up for hay. But uh, I think I might put one of those silo silos down there and just turn the hay, some of it into silage and some of it into uh, uh, just put it into my big silo. Because that way I can just sell all my silage bales and be done with it and make some money and pay back that loan that I have. That's crazy. And I'm really, like, get nervous about the money on this map but I don't think so I mean I just dumped 43,000 liters in there and we dumped 35 in there from the small trailer that we had so there's probably let's see where's our silos it should wow 90 degrees today where is doesn't it tell you oh we've harvested 27 hectares which is 54 acres for three quarters of the field that's crazy that's 54 acres that we've harvested already so i'm guessing this is probably a 100 acre field <laughs> that'll put it in perspective for you won't it <laughs> i'm gonna try really hard i i uh we tried to get a uh uh, the link that I sent Creighton for this map didn't work. And I don't know why, because it works for me, and I got it. Obviously, you guys see me playing on it. So I don't know. So we ended up going with the forestry map for him. It's a little smaller. Uh, it doesn't... It, it, doesn't uh, take as much uh, FPS in that way, for especially for a multiplayer server. It made more sense to go a little bit smaller map. But I do want, I really, really do want Grizzly Bear Sims to come on this map with me. I know the original link is on a Facebook page. Well, I don't do Facebook. Uh, I don't know if it was a... Uh, I don't know the guy's name off the top of my head. Uh, who made the map but uh, I don't do Facebook or Twitter or any kind of social media whatsoever so for me to go on to Facebook and get a, a link to a map not gonna happen I don't do it uh, Facebook has become too political and you all know how I feel about that I just don't I've got too much going on in my life to be listening to people arguing and screaming about politics. I have my own uh, 
thoughts and ideas on life and politics in general, but I'm definitely not going to share them because they're mine and mine alone. That's the problem with things today is too many people's opinions become other people's opinions, if you know what I mean. What I mean is there's not enough, especially, especially in the farm sim community, you know, I mean, there's just not enough fun-loving going on anymore. I think our world has changed. And maybe it's just because I'm old. Maybe it's just, I, I don't know. Call me old, and that's fine because I am. But I'm uh, old-fashioned where I respect people and I love people. Uh, whether, whatever race, creed, color you are, I don't care. I'm too old for that crap. And uh, I don't care if you're young or old. I'm just going to respect you the same as I would be expected to, res to be respected. And that's all, as Forrest Gump would say, that's all my mom goes say on that one. But there's just not enough fun anymore. Boy, this, uh, this field is huge. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it. Because I am. The other thing I thought about doing too, what do you guys think of this? If I decided to start setting up my stream and getting, because I, I bought a stream deck and I have Streamlabs OBS, which is what I record on, by the way. Uh, if I started a live stream, I could stream for two to three hours. And instead of just 30 minutes, I could get a whole bunch done in two hours. But it also depends too, because I don't want to spend, I notice guys like Raznik and Farmer Klein, they get so many people in their chats that uh, they can't get anything done. They can't farm or anything because you're too busy answering people. So, I don't know. I, I, I really, really want to stream. I really, 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 really want to live stream. But I'm afraid that my talkative nature would get the best of me and I wouldn't get anything done. So, we'd be on there just messing around instead of actually working. But I am not opposed to recording longer. I'm also not opposed to doing time lapses either. Uh, it's let me know. Here, here's another question for you guys. Let me know in the comments. I know that Triple D Honey always res, always responds to my questions like this, and so does Grizzly Bear Sims, and so does Russell. So the main guys that are on my channel and they always, always, always comment. Would you guys rather, since this is a 16x map? Would you like me to time lapse so you see what's going on? Or do you want to just have me play off camera and come on and talk like I've been doing for, you know, 30 minutes and keep the videos right around 30? Now, if I record, I can record for an hour or two hours or three hours, fast forward the time, speed up the time, and it ends up being like a 30-minute video. Anyways, I think if I do two hours at 3.5 uh, speed, it ends up to be 32 minutes, so, and that's two hours, but you'll see what I'm doing for two hours, and then maybe every other one coming on and, and recording. It's up to you guys. I want to leave that part of it up to you guys, uh, and I also want you guys to start having some input on, you know, what, if, like, if you guys want a certain thing done or a certain way, like, this is, this is going to be one of those Let's Plays that... I'm going to have fun with it either way, whether it's you guys helping me or not. But I will tell you one thing that you're not going to change my mind on is all of those crappy maple and oak trees are going to be trisixed or whatever the name of that tool is, and they're gone. And there's that's what's giving the FPS problems is those trees. I, I absolutely love this map, but I don't know why people insist on using those trees. Because the reason I say that is because Creighton and I just went on a map today for two hours and 38 minutes, okay, together, multiplayer, with 57,000 trees on this map. We had a harvester going, we had trees on the ground, we had stumps everywhere, and not one time did my FPS go under 60, 61. It stayed pegged pegged at 61 so why is a why is a map that has 57,000 trees on it 
Multiplayer, which you guys all know, multiplayer tends to go nuts. Okay? Why is that uh, get so much better FPS than a map with pretty much nothing on it? Nothing. Except for those trees. See what I mean? See what I'm getting at? Is It's those trees right there that give... It's my... PC is trying to pick up the detail from those trees and then when I spin it around it's trying to pick up the detail of the wheat so it's like I can't do both it's like uh, even though on my PC you know um, it's pretty powerful uh, I mean a 3070 processor should <laughs> I mean it's that's you know a $2,000 processor in this thing it should be able to pick it up but I'm still having issues and it's all from those trees so it's also, I think, sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's also because there's crops that way, and I've got my draw distance turned up. I could probably get, because I stay for the most part right around 60, uh, I could I could get this jam right to 60 if I lowered down one level from ultra down to high. I guarantee it. I, I can guarantee it, and then turn my draw distance and my shadows off. As you see, like underneath the harvester, I got shadows. I got all that green coming out of there. I got... See, 60 while I'm in the while I'm in it. See, that doesn't make any sense. See, doesn't come out of 60 much until I do this. See, and the farther out I go, the the better it gets. See, it doesn't go down past 50. It's when I'm up close. But nobody wants to see somebody harvesting like this. This is for like map reviews and stuff like Farmer Klein does. That's what you're supposed to so you can see. You want to be more like in here. But yeah, see how when I zoomed in, it's 42. Does it affect gameplay? No. Do I love the map? Absolutely. And I'm not going to stop playing it. Love it, love it, love it. I got to stop here soon. I could record all night long. I really could. So, the questions, the, the trivia question, make sure you answer. Make sure you're liking and subscribing and share, share, share. Get this turned around, get it unloaded, and then I'll come and say my goodbyes. Or at least a couple minutes more. So we're on our second load. Uh, 28,000 plus the 3,000 that was in here. So it should be about 34,000 if I'm not mistaken. 34, 35. Okay, so make sure you guys are liking and subscribing and sharing, sharing, sharing as usual. Uh, answer the trivia question, please, please, please. And in the comments, let me know what course I should take with this map. Let me know if I should play off camera, come back, and you see some things differently, or you want to see some time lapses, because I could whip off a two or three hour time lapse real quick, and you guys would only watch 20 minutes. Or, or the third choice, I can record for longer than 30 minutes i can record for an hour two hours whatever you guys want me to do i can come on here and record and then just be done with it we're gonna shut that off i'm gonna put the pipe in here get this baby lined up here and then we're gonna wrap it up one thing i really enjoy about real time is the fact that i can i don't need my phone out to tell me the time all right, you guys understand how it all works. Let me know in the comments what your feelings, what your ideas are. Please, please, please. It means a lot to me. Uh, Creighton, just a heads up if you've watched this all the way through. I probably will not be on that map for two or three more days. I'm going to try to record on it tomorrow, but I've got to get the other maps to go on again. i got to get them done. Got to, got to, got to. Or, or it's a waste of my time to, to even do them. I might not even do them. I don't know. I'll talk to my wife about it. Uh, be sure to uh, enjoy the night, the day, the weekend. Please, please, please look out for yourselves. Look out for each other. And most importantly, look out for each other's family. And on that note, Fury Machine will catch everyone on the flip side. Have a great evening, everyone.